from the News Channel 5 Network, this is Urban Outlook. Hello and welcome to Urban Outlook. I'm April Eaton. Thank you so much for being with us today. And I should say happy holidays because it's that time of year. These are good times to focus on family, to strengthen our connections, and to renew relationships. At least that's the positive side, of course. I get that sometimes the stress comes into play when we're around the holidays, the worry if things are not just right in the world. But we want to focus on the positive things. For many people, this is a time of year that we slow down, that we take a breath, that we focus on our family, we focus on fun, we focus on food, of course, and the festivities that come with the holidays. And to help us celebrate, to do just that, we have some very familiar faces in our community, our very favorite, I'm going to say, television news ladies. Vicki Yates is here, the Emmy Award winning news anchor and reporter here on News Channel 5, to Wanda Coleman Shaw right next to me, producer for Talk of the Town, but also a television host herself here on <laughs> News Channel 5 Plus with Taste of the Town and the positive side of Nashville, the plus side of Nashville, yes. and John Paul Newland, who's a general assignment reporter down there next to Vicki, the newest member, one of the newest members of the Channel 5 family, we one might up, say. But yeah. you've been here about a year, uh, and as we'll find out, you've got a strong connection to Middle Tennessee, a familiar face here in our area. So thank you so much, each of you, thank you. Uh, for being with us today. And as you see, we've got a holiday <laughs> spread going on. This is is very relaxed. We're going to have a great conversation about what we do over the holidays, the traditions that we've established, how the traditions that we've grown up with, and how we've carried them into our families. So appreciate you all sharing your stories today. Thanks Thank for having us. Thank you for having us. So yeah. let's start there. And of course, we can dig in when we want. We're going to be very relaxed here. But, oh, but let's start there. That. <laughs> <laughs> we were and thinking we would. <laughs> and let's talk we'll a little bit why. about some of the traditions. Obviously, okay. you've got the food in front of us, so I bet everybody has that going That's on. True. But but when you think about this time of year, uh, what do you think about? What comes to mind first off? We'll start with you, Tawanda. I think about good food, mm -hmm. of course, the family coming together, um, sweet potatoes, which are always a favorite uh. of mine, and my mom always makes them specifically for me, which has been <laughs> a tradition since I was a little girl. Um, I, sometimes we have chitlins, mm -hmm. uh, but we always have ham and turkey, so there's lots of options and just lots of good times. Wow, Vicki, I saw you shrug your shoulders yeah. there on the chitterlings. I don't think that's part of your family when, tradition. Well, when I was growing up, it was. Yeah. My mother would fix chitlins, but my dad and I hated the smell of them, so we would leave the house, literally leave the house, until she cooked them, because then it would die down a little bit. But, oh, no, there's no... <laughs> You're not making those. <laughs> One thing we do, though, on Christmas morning, I used to make all-brand muffins. Ah. And I would make them every year, because my mother used to make them for us on Christmas morning. And I've done that for so long, and I did it until maybe the kids were like teenagers, and one time they said, Mom, do we have to have those all done? <laughs> You thought it was in our, a set tradition, said, huh? This is great. We're having all my muffins. I said, well, we've been doing this for years. And they're like, we've never, never really liked them. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they put, well, they ate it for those They years. ate it for right. so many They were right. tortured for years. Oh, oh no. That's no, funny. Vicky, you say you have a, a <gasps> breakfast thing. So yes. does my family. We love... My mom's homemade biscuits and gravy oh, every oh, Christmas morning. Yes. She's promising to make them for Thanksgiving this year, too, because she knows we live in Spring Hill. My parents live in Spring Hill. John, quit making uh, biscuits and gravy. I'm there. <laughs> yes. that 40 minutes, home. yeah. Delicious. She knows how to get me home real fast. <laughs> it's funny that, that it, the day starts, of course, with the breakfast. For my family, it was uh, we would get up early in the morning, especially as a child, and it never failed where my granddaddy, who is my mom's father, would ring the doorbell as soon as the light came on. And we always wondered, how in the world did Granddaddy get here? I don't know what time of morning he would pull up on in front of our house, but he would always be there. And of course, my mom would make uh, just a little bit of something. It was canned biscuits, not as good as your mom's biscuits, but just canned biscuits and coffee and something for him to have. He wanted to see us open the presents in the morning. Oh, so sweet. he would show up in the wee hours of the morning, and as soon as we flicked the light, we would hear the doorbell, and we'd say, there's Granddaddy. <laughs> He's already here. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful story. So, so when you think about the things that you all celebrated when you were children, uh, what resonates in your mind? And then, and then I wonder if you've tried to sort of duplicate those traditions from childhood 
to you with your families today? Mm -hmm. I have. Um, we would always try to put our Christmas tree up mm -hmm. the day after Thanksgiving. And so now that I'm married three and a half years, uh, and we, uh, my tradition now with my husband is we put our tree up the day after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to carry on uh, some of the traditions. My mom, as you all know, passed in February. One of the new things I'm going to be doing is I inherited a couple of the reindeer that I used to always <laughs> set out in her yard every Thanksgiving. When I'd wow. go home for Thanksgiving, she'd say, you got to put my reindeer out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I now have those same reindeer. Oh, and so I am going to set them out in my front yard this year. Beautiful. Sweet. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> John, but what about you? Well, you know, it's obviously when we were children, we loved, my dad would go through the biggest obstacles to put the Christmas lights on the house just the little one. Oh, was he doing the Chevy Chase sort of thing? Well, <laughs> no, not that bad. But there was one tree on the corner of our property that when we moved to Spring Hill, it was maybe about four feet tall. And every Christmas, he would just ring it with beautiful lights. And now it stands about 45 feet tall. Oh, so wow. You can't do that we need to pray now. now. But when we go home, we look at the tree like, I mean, it's just, oh. look how much it's grown and yes. how much time has passed. And yes. That's always wonderful. You know, and speaking of Christmas trees, Tawanda, it's like <laughs> my mother's birthday is on the 6th, December 6th. Okay. So we always get the tree on her birthday, and my, my dad's birthday is at the end of the month, so we take it down on his birthday. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's still a tradition that happens. Right. <laughs> right. right. But it's always real. We love yeah. the smell. Oh, you have to have a real, real tree. Gotta have That's what I wonder. Real, real versus artificial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotta have a real tree. Multiple mm -hmm. trees. Just one here. Just, Just one. one. Just mm -hmm. one. I, we do. Uh, we have one in our bonus room, and then which is upstairs, and then we like to have one downstairs by the Perfect. fireplace. So. Perfect. Yeah. And Vicki, I knew you grew up in Detroit. Grew up in Detroit. Where it was always cold for Christmas, <laughs> and so we always but that had was the snow. Perfect it was, yeah. it really it was. Perfect for Christmas, and so I think that's what I missed when I moved here that there wasn't a lot of snow. Mm -hmm. But just being at home and, and we put the tree up, and my dad and I would go pick it out, and and I was in charge of decorating it, and so mm. he'd sit there and watch and say, "Well, what's it going to go up there?" And then I'd do that, and now as a result. We get our tree the day after Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. like you do, Tawanda, mm -hmm. and the kids and I go and pick one out. And mm -hmm. it's got to be at least, it's got to be a Douglas fir. Oh. It's got to be at least seven feet tall. Mm -hmm. And we put it up the night before, thank, night after Thanksgiving, and we do it to Mariah Carey's Christmas album. Oh, oh nice. yes, that is one of the best. <laughs> music. Yes. Yes. We have to oh, have yes. music. Uh -huh. yes. And it's got, we've been using it so long that the kids know all the words to all the songs. And so <laughs> oh. we're all singing along and yes. putting the, the ornaments on. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I know my family loves Nat King Cole's Christmas oh, album. Oh, yeah, that's another My dad one. is a wonderful singer, and every time I hear it, I think of him. Mm -hmm. Or any time we're together putting decorations on the tree, he's always singing it. He sounds just like him. He looks really? just like him. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Wow. <laughs> it's interesting because there was a beautiful little story that was written in Huffington Post by reporter Rhonda Lee, and she said um, the importance of holiday traditions. The holidays are when traditions are passed down, when the past meets the present to inform the future and I wonder if you when you it's think true. about that quote you know does that is that what you're trying to duplicate yeah. in your own families informing the future uh, by taking pieces of the past and kind of bringing them For to sure. life I mm -hmm. think you are because certain things uh, we have certain bulbs now that we put on the tree that every year no matter what mm -hmm. when we get new bulbs certain bulbs have got to go on the tree and that's mm -hmm. what I learned from my family we had certain bulbs that went on the tree and I'm hoping that my kids whenever they have children will do the same thing. It's all about tradition, mm -hmm. and if yeah. I think it brings a family closer I together. Think so I really do. Absolutely. And yeah, I'm starting traditions because you know, being still, I guess really I'm kind of a new You're kind of a new You're <laughs> on. We're starting traditions, yes. and and I like that. And when we do things, we'll say we should do this every year like this or why don't we do this every year or just why don't we make sure we get more of these every year so we are planning for the yes. future as we're still doing things that yep. are past you know yes. um, traditions current traditions planning for the future we, we had some goofy ones in my family my my mom even though my sister and I are six years apart she would uh, buy uh, 
pajamas that were exactly alike or as close to being alike as possible. So we would always have these special pajamas for Christmas night. And then during Christmas Day, she would do the same thing. So we would have matching outfits. And I have a picture where I've got on. My sister and I have on these white uh, tops, these blouses with big collars and bow ties and cummerbunds. And we're, we're all just sort of dressed decked to the nines, looking just like each other, but six years apart. Yes. I don't know what that is. Now, I don't duplicate that one exactly, <laughs> no. uh, but the kids and I do go out and we pick out pajamas. We pick out Aww, fun pajamas to wear fun. Christmas night. I tell them we don't have to have the same outfit on, but we do <laughs> like to have the same color for our Christmas photo and Christmas cards, sure. that kind of thing. So it's, it's, it's wild and wacky, but, but a good time. And like you say, it is the time that I think strengthens families oh, when you're sure. together, uh, mm -hmm. for sure, especially when you're far away. I, you know, I have lived here in Nashville for 20 plus years now. Gosh, I can't even believe it's been that long. Um, and but family is not here. Family's right. in Maryland. Family is in D.C., Virginia area for the most part. Uh, when my kids were younger, of course, I felt like. I was obligated to stay here because they mm -hmm. had questions about sure. how was Santa going to exactly. find us. <laughs> I'm bet you've probably been through the same oh, yeah. thing being far away from home. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about how yeah, you... Yeah, they would often say, um, I remember one Christmas, a neighbor came down dressed as Santa Claus. And of course, they were kids, so they, they were like, oh my God, Santa Claus is in the house. <laughs> Literally, Santa Claus is in the house. And they were just so thrilled with that. But as they got older, yes. you know, they would start questioning, and a lot of times I'd have to work late and I'd come in and I couldn't, you know, you can't put the, the gifts out because Santa, well, of course, Santa puts the gifts out. We know that. <laughs> we, we, we but, know that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but as a helper, yes. I couldn't put the gifts out until I made sure they were asleep. And of course, right. they're like nervous. So I'd go upstairs and check and most, when they were asleep, then I'd come and my daughter, Tori, told me one year, she said, Mom, I kind of knew that's when Santa Claus didn't really exist. I said, why? She said, you bought some kind of an organ, and I heard the, as soon as you came in, I heard the noise from the organ. <laughs> and she said, and the next morning when I woke up, there was an organ. And so. I figured it out. <laughs> Smart but girl. But I didn't tell the boys. I said, oh, okay. Smart girl. You know, my family is from, we're from Michigan, so we're right. Northerners, but I've lived in Nashville since I was in kindergarten. So... A lot of the times, for many years when my brother and I were younger, my parents would go through so much. We would celebrate Christmas a day early, <laughs> so then we would travel to Michigan on Christmas to be there with our family oh, in wonderful. Michigan. But I just remember my brother and I, they would tell us stories about, yeah, Santa Claus, he's coming a day early just for you guys. So when we were on the road to Michigan, we would be staring out the windows for like hours, just like watching, a, watching, watching. Like, watching. It was going to, we were going to see it. Right. And I swear we did. Wow. <laughs> that one Christmas. Oh, I love it. Well, let's uh, get some more food okay. and some sure. drink. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, I want to talk more about uh, the traditions, but also the fact that you all are very busy ladies with your careers in television news. So I want to talk a little bit about how you balance those sure. festivities and those celebrations yes. along with the careers that you all have. So we'll be right back after this. Stay with us. Thank you.